Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another movie review. Yesterday, my dad and I went to the cinema, and we went to see Just Go With It, and of course, the, the, <laughs> the trailers for the movie just don't do it justice at all, because it is hysterical. It is probably Adam Sandler's best movie yet. I'm not kidding. It was well written. It was witty. It had um, really snappy, zazzy lines in it, <laughs> and there were a lot of scenes in the in the film that just had me literally rolling in laughter, and the whole cinema was rolling in laughter. And if you're a Sandler fan, then by all means see this movie because it is nothing short of exceptional. It is just a wonderful film with a terrific moral to it. And it <laughs> the the sight gags are great. The there's some toilet humor but it, it's it's actually really not that bad. I, I thought it was really funny and just some sophomoric humor as you would expect but it's it's not really over overly done and a lot of the the lines are just really really creative and I I was just giggling throughout the whole film and Jennifer Aniston I I thought that she was just terrific and she's just cute to boot and I loved her. I thought that her role as Catherine was perfect, and I think that she and Adam had a lot of chemistry on screen. And of course, Nicole Kidman plays a cameo role as Devlin, Catherine's rival from high school. And um, it seems that both of them have been deceitful about their pasts and well you don't really figure that out until later but you'll see what I mean if you see the movie then <laughs> and I, I just thought it was a really entertaining a lot of fun and I'm still laughing about it if you can imagine that and there were even some scenes that really got me over and I was surprised because the only movie that had done that for me in the past was uh, Click and um, I thought that this was superior really even to Grown Ups which I loved Grown Ups but I feel that this is Adam's finest work ever and it was just <laughs> exceptional I thought so I know I'm probably going to get a lot of criticism for this but I give it two thumbs way up and four stars across the bar. There's, I had no qualms about the film. I had no objections. The, the scenes in Hawaii were absolutely gorgeous. Um, the world that Danny McAfee lived in just gave it more, um, I thought, realism because he was living around plastic people, of course, that had uh, gone to him as a plastic surgeon. and Well, not to him, but his, he's a professional. And <laughs> these people just had an addiction. They, they had problems. <laughs> but um, you get to see the, the falseness to that and the hollowness and just... Um, how shallow these people were and um, I thought that was a, a good message because you really don't want to change who you are for someone else or act like something you're not because in a way you're not being authentic well you're not being authentic at all and I think that's one of the messages besides don't lie or you'll get yourself into a heap of trouble is the other message that the film drives home really hard and I believe that the third message of the film is family is very important and without family 
there really isn't anything to look forward to except for love and if you have love then of course everything will fall into place apparently um, of course it's more complicated than that love takes effort love takes time love takes commitment love is about communication and trust and of course Nobi really uh, emphasizes that as well and <laughs> as far as films go I think that Just Go With It is the funniest film that I have seen all year so far so if, if you're a Sandler fan definitely go see it even if you're an Aniston fan if you're a Jennifer Aniston fan or Nicole Kidman um, <laughs> she just plays a cameo role but even she was just terrific I thought I thought she was really tremendous I was surprised I had never seen her in a comedy before so seeing her in a comedy I thought was really refreshing and I'm not sure who played the role of Sandler's cousin but oh my gosh he was just hysterical and <laughs> Percy makes a lot of jokes dealing with his undercarriage and I <laughs> I know it's kind of body but I actually thought that was really kind of funny and there were a lot of scenes with, with that involved and uh, of course I just enjoyed it all together and another scene I, I thought was really entertaining is when they went to a Chuck E. Cheese kind of place and they even had the old robots from the original Chuck E. Cheese that I remember even Mitzi I thought oh they have Mitzi Mitzi was my favorite and you know probably no one else even remembers who Mitzi was but that was just an aside and it made me feel like a little kid but <laughs> I, I just think that this is a a gem of a film and very very entertaining and enjoyable and if uh, you want to take your date out to see I think it would be perfectly uh, safe for them to go and see because there really isn't any sex it's implied but there really is no sex involved it's just mostly innuendo and uh, just a uh, college humor you, you know it's, it's not bad at all it's, it's kind of tame and the swearing is minimal at, at best. It, to me, it, it feels more like a PG movie than PG-13, but the only reason that I think it got a PG was because of the, the language and a lot of the, the sexual innuendo, but... Sorry, my nose really itches. But beyond that, I, I had no real uh, qualms about the movie, and I just thought it was phenomenal really so go check it out <laughs>